Hey there YouTube, Jeremy Wright here. Welcome to another tank talk. This is a tank we haven't viewed in about two months, but it's a 29 gallon convict cichlid tank. We're now, it's evening, and this tank looks quite a bit different now than it does other times of day. Oh, we're actually catching the lights change. So there are guppies in here, but the convicts are sort of the stars of this tank and they're they're beginning to dominate so months ago seven eight months ago I had another convict tank in which um, a pair um, began mating and I ended up with quite a few convict fry these are those that I kept and they came into a guppy community and they sort of harassed and harangued the the smaller guppies but there are let's see one two three four five six seven eight or maybe eight or nine convicts in here they have quite a few caves so though you can't really see it in the dark there are a number of rocks stacked here. So there's a large rock back here, a large set of rocks here, and a large set of rocks here. Then out this way, there are other rocks bridging those. In other words, sitting across them to make caves. And then we go up one more tier, and there's... Um, Actually, you know, now that I'm looking in here, it looks like something has fallen and the second tier of cave stuff isn't standing any longer. But above that, I'm going to zoom out, above that there is uh, a pair of uh, driftwood things. And for convict cichlids, they really enjoy hiding down in those caves and going down into safe zones. They also breed in cave areas. So while none of them have been breeding in this tank, that's okay. They're only seven or eight months old. I don't give them just a ton of food. I'm not trying to promote breeding at all. It's just a convict home. And I haven't sexed them. I just want come over and feed them, watch them, give them some nice, healthy mixes of food and enjoy them. So I'm gonna zoom again so we get a better view of these small fishies. They're a little over an inch long at eight months or whatever. I just think they're so personable, they're cute. They're fun fish, they're good parents, fun to watch. I recently gave, oh, I gave a, maybe a trio to a friend. So two, four, six. There are only six in here right now. So I, I, I grabbed three and gave them to a friend hoping they would get an, an experience of, uh, you know, seeing what convicts do. Now, that's not giving them a very broad gene pool, but whatever, such as, you know, living in glass boxes. So I'll probably try to find an attractive convict from outside of this gene pool to add in here and see what happens. But I also need to take the gup gups that are hanging out and staying alive, staying alive for now. And they just need to go hide some in another tank. So I'll probably set up another, I don't know, 10 or 20 gallon tank for these guys. And the guppy colony will be able to survive and start anew, but it's it's not thriving in here with the convicts for, for you know, obvious reasons. These guys are growing up. When they were much smaller, there were a lot more guppies in there. There were a lot more guppies. The ones that reproduce don't, uh, or, you know, the new generation of gup gups don't survive with these guys. But the light's getting dim. 
I just kind of want to keep the camera on them for a while. They're cool. So, this tank was originally set up for dwarf gouramis, and it was actually an Indian biotope. This I've called this Tank B for a long time. It's in my son's room. He and I love it. We like the convicts. We like the, the plants. We like the snails. There's some pretty cool things growing in here. Some creeping Jenny right there. So it's no longer an Indian biotope. I began putting American plants in here quite a while back, but there are still some Asian Indian plants that are just persisting, like the Rotala and the Pocot Stemon. Um, there are crypts down in there. There's quite a bit of Siswasser Tang. But, get in there. Catch you later.